Hey everybody, this is Jim, and welcome to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Now, as my mother would often say on my birthday, hey, we all make mistakes. And that's the topic of today's lesson, mistakes in your program. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about how to prevent mistakes, and if they do occur, how to find them. Now, we all have distractions when we work. Maybe your jo dog is jumping up on your lap because he wants to play with you. Maybe there's a TV program on while you're writing code. Maybe it's 2 a.m. in the morning in the office and you haven't had any coffee, so you might make a typo here or there, and you might make a logic mistake here and there. So I wanted to go over how we find mistakes and how to prevent them in the first place. So with that in mind, the first thing I recommend before you ever write any code is sit down with a piece of paper and write out some pseudocode about what you want your program to do. Just general, generally what you want the program to do. It doesn't have to be every single command. It doesn't have to be every single print statement. Just the general flow of the program. That will help you out. I do this actually when I write my lessons out. I, I say this is what I want to go over in the lesson. So I have the notes in front of me and it makes it easier to talk to you guys because I know where I'm headed. Okay, so let's get started with looking at the code. And once again, always pound exclamation point slash bin slash KSH, first line, first column. Next, name the program and comments and what this program is intended to do. This script introduces debugging using pound exclamation point slash bin slash ksh dash x or set dash x and set plus x. It also reminds you how useful print statements can be. Then you put your good idea to put your contact information. Okay, Corn Shell offers you a way to debug programs. What it does is when you turn debugging on, before it executes a command, it will print the command to the screen preceded by a plus sign. So this way you can see everything that's going to happen in your script as it's happening. And to turn debugging on, you use the set-x command. So what will happen after this is the code will get to this point right here which is just a variable assignment but it will tell you when you run the code that it is doing this variable assignment and the next thing it will tell you it's going to do this print statement and then it will in fact execute it and you will see save the cheerleader save the world printed to your screen which is from the TV show heroes for those of you who don't watch that now to turn debugging off, use the set space plus x. And if you notice here, I put comments in about what the code is doing. This is very useful in debugging. It lets you know what commands are supposed to be doing. And if you have a typo or you forgot to put a flag or something in one of your corn shell or Unix commands, you're going to notice it because your comment won't refer to it. So comments are very useful. They let you know what the code is supposed to what the code is supposed to be doing. Okay. So that's my other suggestion. Put comments in about what the code is supposed to be doing. It will help you debug code when your code has errors in it. Now the next thing that's very, very useful is this. Let me actually back up for a second. So the set dash x turns debugging on. The set plus x turns debugging off. You can put multiple sets of these set dash x's and set plus x's in your program, just to let you know. So that's one way. The other way is putting comments in. A third way is to put print statements in. Now the, this statement right here is just for debugging purposes. And let, let me actually do this. Okay. 
just to let me know that this print statement is in fact just for debugging. So you can put print statements in to help you know where you are in the code and what the value of a variable is at that time. Now once you fix your bug, fix your problem, you're going to want to take the print statement out. And so this right here, it just says after cheerleader statement, the value of y is dollar sign y. This is very good. Let you know at such and such a point in your program, your variable values are such and such. It's very good also if you have a conditional statement such as an if statement which is something we'll go over in the future let you know if you actually got inside of the if loop or if you got inside of a of a repeating loop or how many times you were in the repeating loop so put print statements in when you're not sure what your code is doing and the last thing that I wanted to show you well second to last actually is that if you actually do make a mistake like a typo like I have right here print with two T's Corn Shell will let you know about it and it, it lets you know about it in a very good way. So let's save this and let's run it. Okay, once again, let's make it executable before we run it. And like I said, you only have to do this once. Once it's executable, it's executable forever. And now let's run it. Okay, dot for present working directory slash and the name of the program. Okay. So in the program, we had the set dash x, and then the next statement was assigned the value of Monday to y. So it tells us it's doing that. So that's what that little plus there is. And then the next statement after that is the next executable statement after that was this one. And it's what the debug mode is telling us is that, hey, I'm I am going to do this print statement right here and there it goes and, and goes out and does it okay now after the statement we turned off debugging with the set space plus X and we ran the print statement that says after cheerleader statement the value of Y is Monday it's there like I said the print statement is a very good debugging tool it lets you know where in your code you are and what the value of certain variables are at that time. Once you fix the error, you probably want to remove it because you don't want your end user to see stuff that won't make sense to him or her. And the last thing was when there actually was a mistake in your corn shell script, as in this right here, the print with two T's, corn shell will by default, even when debugging is not turned on, it will tell you, hey, at line 27 you have a statement that I don't know what that statement is that's what that not found means it what the not found is it says I can't find this command in corn shell or in Unix so that's what that means okay so if you go back inside the code and let's do that and let's go to line 27 there see it was absolutely right so corn shell is very useful in that it tells you if you have a problem it tells you what line the problem occurred at and what the problem was okay one last thing I wanted to go over is this you can do set X and set plus X to turn on debugging in parts of your code but if you want to debug the whole program what you do is in that first line after you're done with your pound exclamation point slash bin slash ksh if you put the dash x up there it will put the whole code in debug mode and it is perfectly legit to put that dash x up there that's about one of the few things that you can put up there beside the pound exclamation point slash bin slash ksh so let's run this code Okay, and as you can see, as it executes each command, it tells you it's going to execute it. And anything with that plus sign in front 
it's trying to execute. And it even try to execute that invalid statement, but then it tells you that it's invalid. And one last thing, when you're done debugging your program and it works like you want it to, take out the dash X from that first line, or take out the set space dash X and the set space plus X from your code because you don't want the program in debug mode normally when users are running it.